Okay, so this is where I've keyed in uh, a blockwork wall uh, using some pre-stressed concrete lintels to an existing wall and uh, just talk you through how I've done it. This is the building inspector's uh, recommendation uh, because I've got some uh, drains which go through the wall uh, and rather than bring them down here and come out here he recommended doing this. I'm not quite sure why but I just did it anyway. So um, so how I did this, I've um, took uh, um, there's a lintel here which goes over this existing waste pipe where it came out before and um, obviously I didn't want to chisel out part of the lintel and uh, I couldn't go below it because it wouldn't get a full bearing below on that block so I've had to come above that one which means that my DPC is resting directly on this uh, lintel or on this bed of mortar which I put on top of it um, so uh, that looks a bit weird uh, the other one on the outer skin as you can see I've dropped that down a bit below um, below the lintel I could do that there uh, because um, there's no lintel above it uh, so that I'm not disrupting this lintel lintel's bearing and uh, and also there are no holes or other lintels down at that level so in that case I just used a um, a, a breaker drill you know like a kangaroo hammer or um, they don't even make those anymore do they it's like a small um, pneumatic drill which uh, which is quite common. SDS drill, something like that. Anyway, you, you chisel a hole in the wall, uh, which is big enough. Make it a bit bigger than your lintel, because you need room for mortar, and also you need room to align it up and down, and side to side. Um, so obviously you can't use a string to, here, because uh, there's nothing to attach it to at that end. So what I did, I used a long straight edge, and I ran it across the along the wall here, and just use that to line line up with the ex uh, existing house wall there and then I just scribed on the side of the wall scratched in with the end of a trowel and uh, and then I broke out that area in order to put the put the lintel in so that's how you do it I'm not I've put some extra wall ties down there quite a lot of extra wall ties because I figure they'll be just this maybe prone to movement and I think generally they say to use extra wall ties when you're coming up around an opening such as this opening in the wall here you put one in every course um, so we've nearly got that and then a few extras in the upper courses so that's how you key in a uh, pre-stressed concrete lintel into an existing block or brick wall